Hello everybody, I hope you're having a fabulous day today. Today we are back in The Sims 4 doing a house build, but this is a slight challenge build. This is a, I'm only using base game and stuff from the Vintage Glamour Stuff Pack. So, um, I recently had bought the Vintage Glamour Stuff Pack for the hotel build I'm currently working on. Check that out if you haven't. And... Um, I really like a lot of the items. Um, this was the second stuff pack I bought and like my problem is before I bought the stuff packs, I had always bought like the expansion packs and uh, is it the game packs? I think it's what they're called. And those have quite a bit of content stuff packs in my opinion. There's not a lot of stuff there. They could, they're, I I feel like there needs to be more, but, um, and that's part of the reason why I only own two of the stuff packs because one, I'm really picky about my content and two, um, I want more stuff than some of the stuff packs have. So that's why I, I own the perfect patio set because I wanted the hot tubs and two, I own vintage glamour because I really like the style of it and I liked a lot of the aspects of it. So what I decided to do was challenge myself and do a build using strictly vintage glamour stuff. Problem with that is there's a lot of stuff vintage glamour doesn't have, like doors. They only have one door. Windows. They only have like one window. And there's a there's not a lot of options. And so by I quickly changed my mind and added base game to the, I guess, challenge aspect because it wasn't going to work out if I just did like vintage glamour for an entire house. If it was for a specific room, yeah, you could definitely do just vintage glamour stuff. But for an entire house, like there's no kitchen stuff. So there wouldn't be a kitchen in the house. <laughs> so I, yeah, so it does include base game stuff, but it doesn't include any other packs. So if you do happen to own Vintage Glamour stuff pack, then, and then you don't need any other stuff because it's all there. So um, when it came to figuring out the layout of this house, I wanted to go with, um, I wanted to include at least two bedrooms and I was hoping to get two bathrooms and I did that's all upstairs um, When I was first laying it out I kind of thought about putting the master bedroom downstairs, but I had this Grand scheme in my brain. It was like, okay. I had this ass this spot in the house That that is where this item is going. I'll let you know when we get there but and I was kind of trying to figure out where I wanted to place the stairs and they ended up going against the far wall and I was like, okay. Ooh, so I kind of, I guess kind of halfway boxed myself in, but at the same time, I like how it turned out. So I'm not too mad at myself. So you may be noticing the walls at, on this, at this place. Don't worry, they change. I don't necessarily know if for the better. No, yeah, it's for the better, but I kind of struggled with walls just it kind of, it was one of those things I hadn't ever really limited myself when it comes to like stuff for the game and I didn't realize how much I use other pack stuff like there's a lot of items that I'm like oh I use this from this item from this pack a lot and it's like oh, I don't have that anymore so what I decided to do was go with an all black kitchen <laughs> and why are you asking well because I didn't want to go with all white and two, because, it, yeah, I, I have reasons. I'll get into those. But to interrupt myself, see the piano? That's my grand scheme. That's what that corner was going to be. I was like, okay, vintage glamour, over the top, glamorous. What do you need? A piano. You have to have a piano. You just have to. It's big, glorious, grand. It's like, gotta have it. And plus, I was like, what am I gonna do with this? This, is this space. It is essentially a foyer. It's just kind of a massive foyer. So I was like, oh, piano. Ding, ding, ding. Done. Ding, ding, ding. Yes. And so then I kind of ended up with this large space, like oh, walkway space, but I'm not mad at it. I kind of like how open it is. Um, oh, back to the kitchen. Um, yeah, so I went with all black because one of Vintage Glamour's two main colors is black and gold. 
And so I went with that in the kitchen because I felt like it would tie the rest of the house in a little bit more than if I went with like stark white. Plus since the um, walls at the moment are white in this, in the essentially other room, um, I, th I thought it would have been way too much white. So yeah. So I ended up going with the kind of brighter, um, what do you call it? Couches. I, my brain was not coming up with the word couches. Um, going with those brighter couches. And once I got to this point, I qu kind of realized that the wallpaper I had chosen just wasn't working. So I went with these walls because they're more textured and they had more color options that kind of tied together. So, and the main issue I was kind of running into was a lot of the walls that I wanted to use didn't have the, um, what's it called? Oh, I know, I do know what it's called. The, it's, it's not paneling. The thing, the thing, the stuff that's on the bottom and the top, um, in some houses, it's not, is it not, it's, is it called paneling? molding crown molding crown molding um yeah the ones that i liked had cr molding for um top the top and bottom and there's a lot of um walls in the sims 4 that just have the molding on the bottom they don't have it on the top and then the ones on, that have both they don't all match and it's like Ugh, aggravation so i kind of i changed my mind went with that and it tied in a lot better so then what I decided to do was I realized my walls were not quite tall enough to give the grand, I guess, feeling that I was wanting. So I raised everything up. Um, I decided not to get a bigger sized window, partially because I didn't have that many options when it came to larger windows all of a sudden. And so I ended up going with these because I liked the aspect of, I guess, having individual windows instead of the like double wide or triple wide size windows. So yeah. Um, I, oh, the door that you see currently, it stays all the way through the build, but after I stopped recording and went back, I was like, that door is not working for me. I really hate that door. So I changed it <laughs> and it looks, it works so much better. You'll see it in the screenshots, but I was just like, I can't, what is with this door? I don't like this door. But the problem was I wanted it to have a modern feel. And it was like, this is like the only modern door that I want. That's one, one space wide that, yeah. And it, it wasn't working and I was so mad. And so I, I figured it out, but it took a little bit. <sighs> so then up here we have two bathrooms and two bedrooms. So each, each bedroom has an ensuite bathroom. Um, I decided not to try to cram like three bedrooms in there with one bathroom, especially since it was probably going to be, one of them was going to be a small bathroom. So, um, yeah, one bathroom has a shower and one bathroom has a bath. And I decided to kind of forego my, um, bath and shower option because I really wanted to put a tub in and I was like, eh. So here I was trying, to, I was going through all the color options on the beds because Vintage Glamour Stuff Pack came with two, two beds. And I really like them both. And the vanity things, I almost forgot about those. And I was like, oh, these things. So I had to throw that in one of the rooms because like, that's like one of the big, I guess, features of this stuff pack. I, I like, I really like the aspect of it. And it's really cool. The gameplay content it adds, but I just haven't used it yet. So, <laughs> and so, oh, forewarning this room becomes very pink. Like I thought about like maybe doing white and something. I was like, no, let's do something really just kind of out there. Pink room. It doesn't necessarily have like, it doesn't have to be necessarily a girl's room. It can be a guy's room. Guy's rooms can be pink. Nothing against that. Um, but I just, I really wanted to do something like one color based and the blues that came with the vintage stuff pack are very subdued and kind of muted. And I wanted something that was not that this is a super bright pink. It's not like hot pink, but it's kind of a light pink, baby pink. It's very pretty. And I was like, okay, I can, I, I really like this. And I'm not a huge pink fan. I don't hate the color pink, but pink is not really my color. 
but white and silver, I like those. So, you know, it ended up being a pink room. Feel free to change it if you want to. As I always say, you can change anything if you download this on the gallery. Or if you don't, I guess if you want to mentally change it. I don't know. But, yeah, so I went with a pink room. Yeah, sorry for people that don't like the pink room. Pfft, what? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's my argument. Uh, let's see. So over here you have the master bedroom and I went with the kind of classic black and gold that was kind of prevalent in this stuff pack. Um, partially because I really like the black and gold. <laughs> like I'm more of a silver person personally, but I do like black. So, and I like the color of black and gold and black and silver is nice too, but this was more black and gold. It was like, yes, I need this. So then I went through and kind of tried to put, I think I pretty much put one of everything in the stuff pack except for maybe one of the rugs, a lamp. I didn't put the fireplace and I didn't put the room divider. And I didn't put the um, different size mirrors because I didn't, I didn't have, part of it I didn't have walls that high. So, I, but, but I put one of the mirrors so I kind of lumped that together as I put a mirror in. So, but for the most part I put almost everything in this that was in the stuff pack in this build. Um, afterwards, I kind of realized that there was a fireplace and I was like, oh, I could put this in. And it was like, uh, but I have kind of how I want everything set up and I'm not going to add it. So, you know, it is what it is. Sometimes you get ideas at the end and you're like, I could change everything. And it's like, no, nah, but I don't think I should. So yeah. And then I realized I needed to raise the cabinets because I had raised the walls and the cabinets look kind of awkward. I didn't want to put them all the way at the top. Um, cause if I felt like there was too much space in between the cabinets and the countertops. So that's what I went with. So here just kind of decorating the pink room, um, putting a little pink backpack, some nail polish and the star mirror. That is the first time I have ever used that mirror partially because I, I don't really see a huge draw to it. Like it's cool. But at the same time, it's like, mm, the only time I probably would have used it was if I was making a vanity. But the problem is now with the stuff pack, I have vanity, so I don't have to do that anymore. So it's like, meh. but I was like, oh, the star with the lights around it. It works for this room. Ah, so it was perfect. It was, it was beautiful. <laughs> So then I just went through and changed up the lighting, changed up the countertop, not the countertop, the half wall um, thing. Yeah. And I kind of struggled. This was when I really realized how much stuff I use from other packs, like especially paintings and decorative objects and plants. There are like, those are the three main things. I use a lot of stuff from other packs and I'm like, Oh, painting, ex paintings, especially it was, it was very hard for me. I would, was going through and going through again and again. And I'm just like, I don't like any of these or they're the wrong size or they're the wrong color. And I'm like, oh, and part of it was because this was supposed to be a modern build. And so I wanted to put like abstract art or modern art. And there's not a lot of modern art that's smaller because I kind of halfway boxed myself in again, but not putting a lot of walls that were like open. There's a lot of windows and a lot of stuff that's on, not a lot of stuff on walls, but there's not a lot of wall space. So I can't put like the big paintings up. So I eventually got it to a point where I liked it, but it was like, it was kind of a struggle. And so then it came to doing the exterior because what do I always do? I saved the exterior for last, but I did better because I did the windows like halfway through. Normally the windows are like last and then I had to take down stuff from the walls, but I did better this time. So I wanted to include a kind of larger patio or not, or not really patio, porch, porch is the word, porch, but I didn't want it to be an entire wraparound porch, but so just a little bit more than your average porch, I guess. And I, I wanted to play with the aspect of having the door on the side instead of like your, your, you view the house and you see the entrance and it's right there. It's a kind of tuck around, tuck around. I need to enunciate. And then I randomly threw in that modern art piece because I was like, this needs something here, but I don't really see anything that I want to put here. I'll put this here. So it was kind of one of those random last minute things, but it ended up working really well. So and then I just played around with flooring. I always struggle with doing exterior, like flooring on the outside. And so I kind of always default to that. 
um, what do you call it? Stone, the stone. So, you know, then I threw some trees out there. I didn't want to do a super extravagant backyard because I felt like, okay, these people have a really extravagant interior of their house. They probably spent all their money on the interior of their house and don't have a lot of money for the exterior. So, and like, they're probably people that are going to spend more of their time inside than outside. So, threw the monkey bars out there, threw, threw a grill, there's a couple seeding stuff, some rocks, nice trees, got some, I, there is some greenery, but not like a ton. It could be more over the top, I guess. But, you know, I threw some of those like wildflower slash daisy kind of things around there. And so the entire reason for putting the, for kind of putting that odd angle in the porch was I wanted, like, when I started building this, I was like, oh, this is kind of a fun shape. What, how can I use this as an excuse? Like, how can I make it work? I was like, I can put a tree there. So like that tree has been in the planning for like since the beginning. So then I went around and did some little terrain painting. So like, if you honestly want to spoof up, like add to your build, um, do terrain paint. It adds so much. And then I actually remembered that this thing called like floor, floors, those are not floors, roof, this thing called roofs, um, what's, I don't know what they're called. My brain is failing me. Anyway, there's all these other features that I never ever add. And I was like, oh yeah. So I kind of played around with some of those. Some of them worked. I colored some of the windows um, because I felt like the white, white, white was just too much. And I was like, okay, we need just a little bit more depth. Sadly, there's no black windows like those. And I was like, Argh! but whatever, we can't have everything. <sighs> so anyway, here we have the screenshots. Um, this was a lot of fun to build. Really, It was honestly challenging because I had limited myself to a stuff pack. But thankfully, I added, like, base game. I think if you wanted to make this more challenging, and I might do this in the future, I don't know, is to limit yourself to an expansion pack. But you have to make sure the expansion pack has, like, all of the things you need to live as a sim. So, like, a lot of stuff, a lot of packs don't have, like, kitchen stuff or bathroom stuff. They'll have, like, one or the other. So there might be one. I don't know off the top of my head because I'm not an expert, but there might be one that has them. But you have to have, like, yeah, unless you're going to do just a room. But if you're going to do a whole house, then you have to have, like, a bed, bath, kitchen. Yeah, that's pretty much what you have to have. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was a ton of fun to build. Um, yeah, if you're not already, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. I upload new videos three times a week. And yeah, if you guys have any like suggestions or ideas on like um, future builds, things like that, other challenges to do, I don't know, I'm really kind of into the challenge, challenge builds at the moment. They're a lot of fun and they kind of add a new aspect to the game uh, build or the, the game of building. The game of building because it's a game. No. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.